Good morning. Welcome to another ASMR at five. You know, life is too short to drink shitty coffee. Honestly. Once you start drinking premium coffee, you can't go back to the potting soil. You can't. It's crazy. The bar gets raised pretty high. And then everything else just seems like dirt, like brewed dirt. It just has like a nasty kind of, you know, there's like a nasty thing. Like, and you get used to it too. You kind of get used to nastiness after a while. It's like everything in life. My ex-wife, <clears throat> with the irritating voice, used to say, after a while, you can get used to anything. I never got used to her voice, though. Hey, listen, we're going to do a little yabbo at 5 a.m. It's weird, isn't it? Package in the mail. I gotta be quiet here. Pardon the bedhead. The makeup department wasn't in this morning. All right, so I have a SOG Instinct Mini here. I've always wanted one. I've never had a SOG knife before, so we're just gonna try this. Typical, I don't know what you call this kind of packaging. Is this called like a clamshell package? where you gotta cut it out. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing here. All right, let's read about it first. This is a SOG Instinct Mini fixed blade. Great for neck, belt, or boot carry. And for me, it's boot carry. Sheath with 360 degree adjustable pocket clip, lifetime warranty, and at the bottom it says tactical. Tactical for me means easily accessed knife to cut my apple. Satin polished SOG sharp blade, pocket clip, three, 360 positioning, textured, 610 handle, includes carry chain. The carry chain is like got to be useless. I mean, think about it. If you're yanking a, a knife out of a, a sheath that it clicked into. A little tiny chain can't be very effective. You might just yank it off your neck. I don't know, we'll see. A compact wearable fixed blade knife with a hard nylon sheath featuring a fully adjustable pocket clip for a multitude of carry options. Fixed blade, 1.9 inch blade length 1.4 ounces, overall length 4.8. Usage, tactical, field tested. Which just means, like I said, it's it'll be a fruit knife, most likely. So let's cut this thing open here. been thinking about Montana lately. Do I have any subscribers in Montana? Talk to me. Let me get a sip here. What are you doing for 2018? Hmm? I'm asking everyone that. Even people that sit in a chill chair. I'm holding them to their goals. They're like, what is it with this guy that cuts your hair and asks you about your life? <laughs> what is it with him? And you know what's interesting? It's being welcomed. You know why? Because nobody's interested in anybody. And I'm interested in you.
2017 is the year that you get on stock. Now it's going to be 2018. And then I'm going to say 2019 will be the year you make your first million. Let's get a little sip here again. Sog, Instinct Mini. Interesting blade. It's got a little. Uh, I don't know what that would be for. Maybe for a grip. I'm guessing grip, but there's got to be some use to it. It's got a nice weight to it. 1.4 ounces. The grind is really nice. I mean, this and the point is, jeez. I can grip it pretty well. I didn't th I, when I first saw it in the package. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to really grip it. It looked like it was like a two-finger gripper. <laughs> Definitely not a toy. All right. I would say I have uh, large to extra large hands. That's my glove size. All right. So let's compare it to my hand. See? Three grooves for the fingers. The nylon handle is held on with rivets, although I'm sure this could be taken off and you could put paracord around it. Now I'm guessing that these grooves, John Gray will be able to tell me. You guys know John Gray knives? Um, check out John Gray Knives. John Gray is a client and a friend. Lives near me. And I've been to his uh, studio. and I, I, I cut his hair and trim his beard. And he's a very humble man. Uh, because I think he should be bigger than what he is, and I'm not talking about size, although he is a huge man. I mean, have, did you guys ever see the picture of me and John? He's literally, it's like me standing next to a refrigerator. He's a giant man. And one of the, the most firm handshakes I've ever had in my life. I would imagine if you're holding knives and grinding all day and doing stuff, you know, like that kind of stuff, that it would just build up the strength in your hands and arms. Big, strong guy. Nice sweet man, smart, funny, just a pleasure to be with, um, but a craftsman. Have you seen his knives? Go to John Gray Knives. If you're a knife fan, I didn't, I didn't mean this, I don't want this video to start being a sales pitch for John Gray Knives, but it's the kind of knife you got to start saving up for. Like this here, I got this off of eBay. This was like I don't know, like $7.99. Okay. John Gray knives. I, they're in the hundreds of dollars and up. And if you've gone to knife shows, you, you know John Gray. I mean, he has a look that that is... You, you will not confuse him with anyone else. Uh, and your conversation with him will be amongst the best that you've ever had. And I, you know, it, what's interesting is I, I love good conversation. And there's, I have people who come in and cut, I cut their hair and, and we say three words and they're gone and that's fine. That's okay. Because some people live by this, <laughs> feel free to shut up. And some don't. And I love people that, I love good conversation. I really do. I'll come out of my den. <laughs> I'll come out of my cave for good conversation anytime. But I'm sure John would, would be able to give me the details on this of what these grooves are right here. Can you see that? I know that the same grooves are at the last finger area. So I would imagine it's to steady the knife and then you put a thumb here I'm guessing. And you tactical guys know if that groove is, that machined in groove, if that's 
of any purpose. I know guys that would take that take this handle off and put paracord on it in two seconds. Kind of cool it up a little bit. And give it a more beefier hold. Check out John Gray Knives. I'm, I'm just he shows me new things and check him out on Instagram too. Uh, it there's something there's something insanely satisfying being around a craftsman, someone who's really good at what they do. I know there's people that say, I just love watching you cut hair. I just I just enjoy looking at you. You need to do more hair cutting videos. And I'd like to provide my clients with privacy in the sense that not videotaping everything that I do. So I would have to do uh, paid models who are being paid to be videotaped. Because I just, I would much rather provide the privacy and, and the experience and uh, I'm providing it for them. They're not providing it for me. That's how I feel about my, my guests. But uh, long story short about all that stuff is I love good conversation. And I always have a good one with John Gray. Check him out. It, if you're into knife porn at all, and carbon steel porn, and flip knives and assisted opening knives and you like that kind of stuff. I know I can't get enough of it. I start scrolling through that stuff and I'm like, wow, 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 wow. You know, knife goals, knife goals. Uh, just insanely satisfying. Insanely satisfying. Let me put this down for a second and then I'll click it into the sheath. Hold on. So here's the sheath. I gotta stop saying all right. That's filler. That's filler space. I don't like I don't like filling video with empty audio. Does that make sense to you? Some people are like, all right, okay. Um uh I don't like as a seasoned commercial actor, broadcaster, video spokesperson, I fall into the same traps as newbies and amateurs. And if you don't practice all the time, you just, it, it's like anything, man. You, you, you lose your swing. It comes back quick when you practice it. It's kind of like your mojo. You know, in your swagger. And I chilled out. Uh, you know, I did that video on no fap November, which is funny. Honestly, it's it, some people got all bent out of shape and rubbed the wrong way with it. And I think it's funny. And like the times... People that know me know this, is that like when, if I'm angry, like it, many times it's an act. If I act like I'm upset about something, if you just watch at the very end of like a quote-unquote angry rant, you'll see like a little smirk on my face. And some people don't catch those nuances. And I have to tell them just to, you know, and they just go off on me. And it's just, it, it's interesting how, but then again too, uh, the message is in the ear of the listener, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, in the sense that if a person is watching a video late at night and their defenses are down, they're tired, or they've been drinking, and like, you know, I would say probably 20% of my audience, and this is not against people that drink at all, um, drink and drive, that's stupid. That, that's the dumbest thing you can do. If you're going to drink, stay home, please. I have no problems, and I'm not judgmental with people who uh, drink it at home or use substances, whatever. But man, some people just start getting on the keyboard after a little substance use and being tired or whatever, and just it's like asshole on steroids. And I blast them back, whatever, and I have a little fun, and then you know, or I might have to block some idiots who just like 
I got some fools that just like I can just tell they've been drinking, and they get online and they and they just go off on me, and or people that are just like easily offended at everything. Like, gee, what can I be offended at today? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so let's go back to Sog. Check out John Gray Knives. You'll thoroughly enjoy it. All right, so here it is. Here's the sheath, nylon. It's got, it's kind of interesting because these notches on the knife are also mirrored on this right here, around these edges right here. And then the clip, got like a little skull with a beret on it. Is that a beret? Yeah. It's not quite a Punisher skull, but it's like an evil. Look at that. Can you see that? It's kind of a cool thing. And it's a metal clip. It's not plastic. And it's got this 360 thing, and it can be put on either side. It's got these little dots around it, so it can be indexed, so it clicks into place. So I can put it on my belt if I want. I could take it off and just wear it as a a neck knife, but I'm, I'm not into the, the chain thing. I might have to rethink that. I don't know how strong this chain is. Do some yanking here. I'll do a yank test. You no fap November guys. You wouldn't know how to do any yanking. You've been out of practice. All right, so I'm going to have to tighten that up. So what I would do is I would probably put this on my belt right here because it's indexed. It clicks. So i got to tighten that up a little bit. Now, here's the real test. Is the damn thing going to fall out of the sheath? Hold on a second. I need my coffee. Don't just look at it, drink it. Some of you will understand that. <laughs>